what's the word everybody on youtube my name is mia b and welcome back to my channel good things come to those who wait that's why i'm getting paid i've been lit shine so bright don't care about what whole thing they throwing shade i'm in the v6 but i don't get passed on the interstate call me john you can't see me but my name really in my a mia b they say i'm missing but don't want no action i'm touching so much bread my family probably think i'm trapping talent if youtube don't work i'll end up just turning acting i got guards on my own he'll fight my battles if you think i'm lacking shawty right there is a 10 now you ain't dreaming that still don't touch my soul or heart of gold man what you thinking well, if you're new here subscribe like and comment in that order as y'all can see by the title today is a story time y'all haven't seen me in a while I got a lot to talk about. We'll talk about that in another video, though. All I'm going to say is I've realized that I got to give up something. And right now, I'm not in the position to give up sleep. I can't. I can't give up sleep. But I'll give up my lunch break, kind of. Like, I'll talk to y'all on my lunch break rather than... Rather than watch YouTube videos like I usually do. I'll actually record a YouTube video. I hope you can't see, well, I hope you can't hear the fan blowing, the air blowing, but it's hot. I cannot compromise that. As y'all can see, I'm at Steak and Shake. I got some fries that's spilled in the bag. A Frisco milk, the only thing I get from Steak and Shake. A cup of cheese that's gonna make my stomach hurt. A cup of water, balance. <laughs> And the strawberry shake that's gonna make my stomach hurt worse. But at this point in my life, <laughs> if I want it, I'm gonna go get it. Yep. All right. So as y'all can see by the title, I'm gonna be talking about how I got arrested for the first time. It was not a highlight of my life. I actually don't even wanna think about it. I'm sorry if my steering wheel cover is making you mad. What's back there? Oh. That's just my coat. Oh, oh my gosh. If y'all have been here for a while, y'all know multitasking like while eating is not my thing. Like I cannot do that, but I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Amen. Amen. So we just gonna get on into it. This actually happened in 2019. Um, look at that cheese. That is too much cheese. And I'm gonna eat all of it. <laughs> My boyfriend told me to eat fruit for this video. <laughs> I didn't wanna eat fruit. I'm sorry. Um, he wants me to get all my nutrients. <laughs> and I mean I got a strawberry shake so I just had a cup of water so this is despicable look at all this grease but I'm gonna eat it I'm gonna eat it all and I'm gonna enjoy it too oh that's hot now this story is involving paper and sock if you don't know who paper and sock is I'm gonna leave some videos in the cards that you can catch up on who Paper and Sock is. But them was my two road dogs. Sock more than Paper. But then Paper and Sock, whatever. End up, anyway. <laughs> they was my road dogs at the time. Them who I was always with. One day we decided to do something different. It was the summertime. This literally happened June 1st, 2019. I remember it like it was yesterday. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was driving. Um, this is actually the same night I recorded the my trigger freestyle. If y'all also don't know, I be doing poetry. I freestyle for fun. Y'all heard my um intro. That's me on my intro. <laughs> Make some noise, y'all. What the so I be freestyling. I write poetry. Poetry is more my thing, but freestyling was what I was doing for fun before I started actually putting my poetry on social media. 
So, this was the same night I recorded this video. Go figure, nigga. You was the trigger. I thought that little heart of yours was way bigger. Feel it? Thought you was feeling me. How you would talk? I just knew it was meant to be stupid. Me crazy. You make me feel crazy. I really saw myself having your babies. I don't know why you ain't never really claimed me. The distance was the reason why you never dated me. You played me. Don't know what I'm capable of. I ain't messing around and go crazy on blood. If y'all want to see the full thing, go to my Instagram. I'll put it in the description box down below. But, yeah. We decided to go about an hour away to go skating. I'm, I was living in Mississippi. I'm not anymore. I'm not anymore. That's how long I've been gone. Not living in Mississippi no more. Less than bottom feeders in that state where they belong. But this night we decided, let's go skating. We was going to go skating. It was always something going on. Not Well, it was always boring stuff. We had gone to a party so much. We were tired of doing the same thing over and over again. Paying money to get in these lame parties. Like... When we went to the parties, it was like nine times out of ten, we were going to regret regret going to the party. So we was like, we should just go skating. Skate near a skating rink, um, about an hour away in Tupelo, Mississippi. Now, if you don't know what Tupelo is, to get to Tupelo, you go through these states that aren't all that <clears throat> great for my complexion if you know what i mean if you're smelling what i'm stepping in <laughs> do you feel me knocking y'all better let me in <laughs> my thing with eating and telling stories is this not rude i'm chewing and i'm talking is this not rude <clears throat> so one night we all pile up into my little mazda 2010 mazda 3 and we had to skate. We went skating. We had a blast. That's not what this is about. Yeah, so had a blast. Yada, yada, yada. The story really starts when it's time to go home. Sock was like, you want me to drive? You want me to drive? You want me to drive? I said, nah, I got it. I regret it. I regret it. I should have let that girl drive. I didn't mention that we were doing um, illegal activity. I mean, that's why I got arrested. Shoot, we were doing illegal illegal activities as we was driving. Yes, we were. Mm-hmm. If you're not new to my channel, you know I used to blow it down. I used to smoke, 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 smoke. I used to smoke. Not saying I had to smoke to have fun, but <laughs> if I was having fun, why not add smoking to it? Is what I used to have the thought process of. It's actually horrible. It was actually a horrible habit. And I'm pretty sure I was addicted. We were doing illegal activities, riding down the highway, coming back. I was just at Sonic recording that video, mind you. Kept doing it over and over again. Kept forgetting the words. Over and over and over and over and over again. We was probably at Sonic for like an hour in itself. I ended up getting an ocean water drink. And then we ended up leaving. They got something too, I don't know. Then we ended up leaving. Now, we fired up in that mug. Smoke billowing. I don't have no air on. I don't have any ventilation going. No windows down. I'm just riding. Music bumping. We got the roach now. And it's about time to put it out. We having a blast. Hi. <laughs> riding through the stars in the clouds it's dark it's probably like i don't know 10 o'clock at night we put it out as soon as we put that blood out whoop 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 
the police is behind us. I said, oh, the police behind us. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. We didn't smoke all of it, so. And we had a bottle in the car. We were just being super illegal. Don't ever do any of this. I didn't have no alcohol in my system though. I, I wasn't a, still not a big drinker. I wasn't a big drinker. Drinking was not my drug of choice. It was definitely the ganja. Sock was in the passenger seat. Paper was in the back. Paper had the rest of the um, ganja, the rest of the, 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 the grass, the rest of the lettuce in the bike. <laughs> Once I see, okay, I didn't think the smartest, but I wasn't the dumb one in this situation. Let's get that started. She's behind me. I'm driving. I roll down all my windows as soon as... I see the lights because I'm like, I got to air this mug out. Why? It's like too late at this point. Like, I can't even explain it. But I told Paper, throw it out, throw it out. So I go, like, yeah, throw it out, throw it out. Thinking she was going to toss it out that window across from her into the grass or something and just launch it. Mind you, I was, I kept going so that the police, like, yeah, he wanted me to stop, but I'm going to keep driving a little bit. Then I'm going to stop. I don't even know where he came from to this day. I don't know where he came from after he done testified on the stands. I still don't know where that man came from. He came out of nowhere. This girl, Paper, done threw the rest of the lettuce that's wrapped up out her window. The driver's side, the 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 passenger driver's side, whatever. <laughs> she behind me. Why did she throw the weed out the, out her window, bro? She behind me. Why did she throw that lettuce out her window? By this time I stopped, I said, she up, 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 sounded stupid as a mug. Still got the open alcohol bottle in her lap. Not even trying to conceal that. At this point, maybe the Lord was just trying to show me, girl, this is not your friend. This is not your friend. But, I'm like, she had a lapse of judgment. The girl was scared. Ain't never been scared a day in her. I mean, ain't never been arrested or in trouble a day in her life. I mean, me neither. But, I mean, I've had run in with police, but I've never been arrested are being caught doing drugs <laughs> like I was in that moment by this time the police get out the car he by himself he we gonna call him Chad or some Brad that's what he looked like a knight in shiny armor he looked <laughs> he looked like he had blonde hair blue eyes he was the stereotypical if you could picture an attractive Caucasian man how they be saying it yeah you picture him but he was a butt oh he had something to prove i don't even know what's going on with all that he come up to the car no he back i'm pretty sure he got his weapon drawn i'm not looking back i don't want to know he's like driver put your hand on the <laughs> driver put your hand on the wheel passenger put your hand in front of you told her to put her hands on on the on the headrest something like that we all had our hands up i had my hands like this he said, you know I just saw that, right? Who just threw that? You know I just saw that, right? She ain't saying nothing. He come up to the window, asked for my license. Didn't ask for insurance or nothing, but then tried to give me a ticket for that. Anyway, asked for my license. Um, <laughs> I give it to him. He's like, what are you doing here? I was like, I go to Ole Miss. Like, because I have a Missouri ID. And... He was like, why? Like, what are you doing here? We was passing through. We was going through this area called Pontotoc. If y'all know what Pontotoc is, it's Pontotoc. It's Pontotoc. They're like, go to Ole Miss. Okay, um, who just threw this out? Because he had it in his hand. Who just threw this out? Paper ain't saying nothing. Paper behind me, sock on the side. I keep getting intertwined and mixed up, but... Psych ain't saying nothing as she shouldn't because she didn't do the stupid stuff and throw it out to where he could see. 
First of all, she should have put the crack in her crack. I should have said, put the crack in your crack. Put the crack in your crack. It wasn't crack. Mother, don't. Anyway. Don't even, please. It was not crack. She not saying nothing. I'm not saying nothing. I don't know what she thought. And me and Sock was going to take the blame when your dumb self just threw it out the window. Eventually, nobody said nothing for a long time. He like, and I see the alcohol right there open, so you could just hand that over to me too. She had it in her lap the whole time. He coming to, he coming, he coming up to the window. So y'all know the driver is going to get placed on the driver, especially that. Open container. Hit with it. I wasn't even drinking, big bro. I just had my little ocean water. He's like, who is this? Who's is this? I mean, y'all could get in trouble for her. Who's is this? Who's is this? She's like, I guess it. I guess I'll just take ownership for it. I guess it's my girl. It's yours. What you mean? You're the one who threw it out that back window. You're the one who's going to take ownership of it. You're the one who's yeah. Like what you thought this was. So he tell me to get out the car. We all get out the car. He told all of us to get out the car. Took my keys, put us in the police car. He put me, mind you, I'm freaking out at this point. Let me not, let me not hold you now. Let me not act like I was just like, man, man, I don't need care, man. Just put it on my record, man. Like, no. What? Not, do y'all know my mother? The ones who, know, I was going to die. I came here to get an education. And I'm getting in the back of a police car for doing drugs. I was raised in the church. I was raised in the church. I am a PK. Preacher's kid. Prophetess kid. Not pastor kid. But ordained prophetess. She probably already had a dream it was going to happen or something. But I was freaking out. I'm like, oh, uh, uh, uh. He's like, just calm down. Calm down, ma'am calm down sit in the sit in the car so i'm sitting in the front they get put in the back i didn't get put in handcuffs that would have been i would have fell out if i would have got put in the handcuffs i mean that happened in the future <laughs> not proud of that either but let me put some hold on pause he went and searched my car there was nothing in there other than what he already saw the alcohol and whatever paper threw out the window <laughs> He already had it all, so I was basically going down. Mind you, I've never been through this experience before. What I should have said is, I want a lawyer. Give me a lawyer now. But no, I took all them tests they gave me, bro. But I'm going getting ahead of myself. Rewind skirt, back it up, sure. I'm in the front seat of the police car and I'm praying. Yes. One thing I'm gonna do is call on Elohim. I'm gonna call on Jesus Christ. Yes, even if I'm in the wrong, I'm gonna call on Jesus Christ. I'm gonna call on Jesus Christ. <clears throat> I'm gonna call on Jesus Christ. I didn't know how he was gonna get me out of it. But I was gonna call on Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's not even funny because God is a way maker, but come on now, he gives you free will. And sometimes you gotta fall and he gotta use your downfall for his glory <laughs> and your testimony. And I can say, that that has been added to my testimony i'm not even gonna get into that why am i getting emotional anyway <laughs> this was a hard time in my life i straight got arrested y'all oh my gosh delinquent oh my gosh what <laughs> i'm in the car she worried about herself she's like man i wish you didn't say that um we went to Ole Miss because now they're going to contact, they're going to contact our parents and they're, they're going to contact the school. We're 30, 45 minutes away from where we go to school at. They are not going to contact the school. That only happens if you get arrested in like on campus or like in the town we're in. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Paper. I'm over here praying and she bringing that up. Huh? Okay. <laughs> I should have known. She's like, is she going to jail? He's like, I don't know. We're going to take this test when we go in here. And, um, oh, rewind. When I was outside of the car freaking out, he had me take a breathalyzer. 
nothing came back on the breathalyzer because I was not drinking. So we're in the car. He gets back in the car. She asks, are we going to jail? He's like, you two aren't, but we're going to take the test with her to see if she's actually going to jail or not. I was going to jail either way. Like, I was going to the holding cell either way. Now, y'all see what I was wearing. Crop top, ripped jeans. My hair was actually like this, wasn't it? <laughs> but it was cold. It was cold. It was hot outside. I had on sandals. It was hot outside, but cold in that jail. Now... They get out the back of the car. They walk to the front. He walked them to the front. He tell me to stay in the car. I should have ran. But she just get charged with possession. And nothing happened to Sock because she wasn't driving. And she didn't have the alcohol on her. Like, she wasn't driving. She wasn't driving. She didn't have the weed on her. Nothing happened to her. I should have let her drive. <laughs> I should have let her drive. But it's a lesson I needed to learn, I suppose. Then I had to learn it two more times. But um, <laughs> never for smoking and driving again. Um, we get into the jail. He walked me in by this time. They take my <laughs> they take my picture. The man like, ma'am, you got to open your eyes so I can take your picture. I thought my eyes was open. I thought my eyes was open. He getting mad because they not open enough. I'm like thank god i have never seen that never ever seen that mugshot photo i haven't seen any of my mugshots thank the lord we get in he try to switch up and like be nice he's like so this your first time uh getting arrested i'm like yeah never anything before never nothing on your record i'm like no whole time i'm like okay if i pass this test he gonna let me go I won't have to call nobody. I won't have to call my mother. The main thing every time something happens bad to me, I think, oh my gosh, my mother cannot find out. I would have called my dad. I would have called my dad before. I would have called my brother before I called my mama. To this day, if I get in trouble, I don't think I would ever call my mother still. To this day. Not only, not, not because I'm scared of getting in trouble, kind of, but mostly because I don't want that on her brain. I don't want her to worry her. I don't want to be stressed out by her either. <laughs> this, um, what's it called? Expert comes in <laughs> who's going to do my test to see if I'm, like, nothing was explained to me. Duh. It's not supposed to be explained to me. But I was caught with smoke billowing out of my windows as I'm driving. That's driving under the influence. That's a DUI. I didn't know I was getting tested for a DUI. But he's like turning off the lights. Like he had me, he, he read me my rights. The other dude didn't read me my rights before he put me in the car. But he read me my rights. He had me sign this paper giving up my right to an attorney. And what I should have did was say, no, I want an attorney. Even if I had to get it myself, I should have said, sir, I want an attorney. But I didn't say that. Nope. I took the test. <coughs> He checked my tongue. He checked my pupils if they dilated. I had to put my head back, count to 30. When we got to court, he said I counted to like a minute and 10 seconds. I said, you making stuff up. But I don't know. I probably did. <laughs> I probably did wait to like 70 seconds or something. But it was like, but I was in my head like one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. But that's not how seconds go. It's like one, two, three, four five like that mississippi stuff <sighs> see see what see where mississippi gets you don't ever go to mississippi i hate mississippi <laughs> so what else he had me do he had me do all sorts of stuff oh walk in a straight line they said i was leaning over and falling over this is marijuana this is not they was exaggerating it when we finally got to court because I didn't take the non-adjudication, which I should have took the non-adjudication. But, because now that mug on my record. And I didn't realize that wouldn't be on my record if I took that. I wasn't explained. Nothing was explained to me. I was trying to go off the help of Elohim, the Lord Jesus Christ. And again, he helped me. For sure. But, 
I had to like it was a lesson I had to learn. Just think, if I would to if I was to keep getting in trouble and the Lord just keep pulling me out, keep pulling me out, keep pulling me out. People have favor. Don't get me wrong, but like I wouldn't have learned nothing. I would have kept getting in trouble thinking I was invincible. And plus, they said I was doing ninety something miles per hour. I really just think I was doing seventy something to this day because I, I was looking down. But he said I was doing 90 something. And just think, what if that stopped me from getting in a bad car accident and killing all three of us later down the road? Like, you never know. That could have been, it could have been horrible. Because either way, you're still under the influence. Even if I thought I could handle it, even if I drove high many times before, I was under influence. Anything could have happened. And I thank God. I thank God it's added to my testimony. How about that? Yeah, I end up on the test. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. And it's not like I got put into regular population or anything. They made me sit there. They didn't even put me in the holding cell. They just made me sit there naked. Not literally naked, but look what I had on. It was cold. I was freezing. The little trustee came out at like 5 in the morning. Or so. Not 5 in the morning. Let me stop lying. The little trustee came out and he was like cleaning up or something. He like, you cold? He went and got me one of his shirts. And you know, I took it graciously. I said, thank you, sir. Cause I was so cold. They saw me shivering. They didn't care. Of course not, it's jail. But the man cared enough to give me one of his shirts. He gave me his shirt. I felt so much better after I got that shirt and I was just sitting there sad. They gave me a phone call. I called um, Sock. I told Sock, get me out of here. It costs this much to get me out, please get me out. They like, we finding bells behind them, we finna get you out. A little later, I called back. Sock didn't have the bread. Paper had the bread. Her people had the bread. <laughs> she had the bread to get me out. But you know what Sock said? She don't wanna get you out because she's scared that you won't pay her back. First of all, I have never, ever, ever been in a situation where I didn't pay her back. Maybe I've been in a situation where I didn't pay her back in a, a timely fashion, how she wanted to. But I always pay her back, and I really can't even think of a moment where I did it like that. Like, she just knew I wasn't the, I didn't have bread like that. Like, it wasn't that I hadn't paid her back before. She probably seen that I was late on rent, mind you. If I was late on rent, I was getting evicted, not her. We had two separate leases. We were staying in the same apartment. It was like one of them college apartments. They wasn't finna kick her out. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Another moment where the Lord's like, these are the people you got around you. <laughs> Look who you got around you. This girl want to leave you in jail. And I told Sock, I have the money. It's on my card. I literally just, just got paid this day, this day. I think I was working at McDonald's at this time. I literally just got paid this day and I have the money. And she like, okay, okay, I'm finna tell her you got the money. Whatever, hung up, called back. She like, okay, we finna get you out. I'm like, okay, bet. I waited and I waited and I waited. I was cold and I waited and I waited and I waited. I was shivering, I was crying. Mm -hmm. One thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cry. And eventually they got me out. They said they had been called the Bells Bondsman, got the money in or whatever. I don't know why the process be taking so long in jail. I don't know if they was trying to rub it in, rub it in a little bit to make me feel it. But I felt it. I'm going to wrap it on up because it's about time for me to go back. My break is about over. But paper was wrong for doing that to me for sure. Like not even like if you're my friend and you're in jail. There's no questions asked. What you talking about? I'm finna bail you out. We'll figure this out later with the money situation. But she really didn't even want to bail me out of jail. <laughs> because she thought she wasn't going to get her money back. Oh my gosh, the people I used to hang around. And it's crazy because I don't know what she's telling her people. I don't know. But you reap what you sow. <laughs> and the Lord, <laughs> the Lord said, Okay, you doing too much. I don't know. She had to be talking stuff to her family or something, saying it was my fault or something. Because you know what happened less than a week later? Or exactly a week later, we decided to go bowling. Uh, I didn't drive. 
this girl did a hit and run, drunk driving, got pulled over, <laughs> and got a DUI herself. So that's how that worked out for paper. So paper got hers <laughs> and it's no coincidences that happened. Like you was trying to play me and leave me in jail and then this is what happened to you. And the crazy part is the whole time, the whole situation, I wasn't even holding it against her. This is me, grown me looking back like, wow, she really had me messed up. I still hid the bottle of open alcohol that was in her car that time when she got a DUI. Should have left that mug open. I just got another background check for my job and <laughs> that mother said open container i said oh my god it's still on there but yeah that's the first time i got arrested i'm gonna go back to work don't say i don't love y'all i'm back in the battle i have went to court for months and months and months after i got arrested i didn't i didn't smoke for a while I maybe drank, but I didn't smoke for a while until I started again. <laughs> That's not funny. But, yeah. Praise him, I did not die. Praise him, I got out. Praise him, I am here to tell the story today. I hope you enjoyed this story time. Tell me what you think. How stupid am I? Real stupid? Real dumb? Yeah, I know. Y'all hear that? <laughs> PTSD. Let me, you know what? I just put that behind me because I hate how it feels on me. But I'm going to go ahead and strap that up real tight. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye. Remember, if you want it, you got to go and get it. If you want it, you got to go get it. It's more than an image. My hustle something like my city. 314 up in it. About my business like I'm Bruce Wayne. I ain't even in the comics. It's really my turn. Yeah, let's pop it. Watch soon as I drop it.